Mike, David Moore, Dallas Morning News. Uh, when you get put together a, a game plan, calling a game, I know it's about attacking the defense, but do you take the state of the opponent's offense into, uh, you know, when you're putting it all together, just as far as pace and, and uh, what type of game you want? I definitely. I mean, it's complimentary football. You know, what we do um, as a staff specifically with the coordinators, you know, we have a game management meeting uh, at the end of the day Friday. And now that everything's in, everything's been pretty much repped. Um, so the offense coordinator will we'll talk through everything we've done and what, what we think of them, you know, how we're going to attack them. And then, then Mike, Mike does the same for defense and John does the same for uh, special teams. And then there's always items um, that we talk about as far as uh, just the procedural the officiating. So we go through all the – anything that's tied to the actual game. And, you know, and then from that we, we have a discussion how we want to – you know, which way we think the game, game may go, and they never go exactly how you think they're going to go. But um, so, well, yeah, that's all part of the complimentary football formula. I'm Mike Todd Archer with ESPN. How did Bland come through uh, practice yesterday? Oh, uh, good. And yeah, today will be his. You know, will be a real test for him. Uh, he'll be on. He'll be on a rep count today. But he had a good day yesterday. You talked a couple of times about it's not who you play, but when you play them. When a team is coming off a bye, besides health. Mm -hmm. What do you kind of expect from those guys when they've had extra time? Uh, wrinkles, uh, but I think you just got to, you know, you just got to pay attention clearly to the film. I mean, they're playing very well. They've been very productive. Uh, so that, that's where our mindset and our outlook is. John Michelle with the Athletic. Uh, can you give us an update on Eric Kendricks? I saw you in practice yesterday. Yeah, he's um, he's, he's got a shoulder he's dealing with, so um, we'll, he'll be limited today. He'll start with the uh, rehab group. Just can you talk a little bit about the importance he's been to that defense? Well, you guys adding him? He's, a, he's our quarterback. I mean, he's uh, knows it inside and out. Um, you know, you know, as far as a, from a leadership perspective, you know, getting the front set, the, the communication, he's outstanding. And frankly, I mean, he's got so much experience in that defense. Uh, super instinctive, uh, very aware. Um, so, very, very, very disciplined player. Uh, so I, I've obviously had, had the opportunity to work, you know, opposite of him. Uh, for years in the division up there in the north, uh, just just so impressed with him in person. So he's been a great addition for us. Calvin, Calvin Watkins, Dallas Morning News. Uh, Carson, how's he, how did he look uh, for you? Uh, he'll be in the rehab group today. Uh, we talked a lot about Hoffman at the start of the year, about all the challenges of being a rookie. How's Hoffman been able to handle that so far this year? Well, I mean, I, I just think like anything. I mean, it, it's you know one step at a time. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I, I don't really like giving great evaluations in here. Um, but yeah, he's, he's off to a good start. Garrett. Garrett Podell, CBS Sports. Mike, CD had the best game of his career last year when you played these guys. What can you take from that success? And I know it's a different team, but sort of apply that to get similar results. Well, they've had some changes in their secondary, you know, to stay the obvious, but, uh, you know, that, that game was. It's been in the cutups, you know. Had a chance to, you know, review it Monday night. So, um, but yeah, I, I think the biggest thing with CD is his opportunities. You know, we just got to keep finding ways to make sure he gets opportunities, and, and that's a great example of what he can do with the football. You know, the play that him and Dak, you know, had, in the, you know, a broken play, you know, uh, in the backed up situation was a huge play in that game. So. Saad Yusuf, The Athletic. Mike, um, earlier this season we talked to you about Demarvion from week one to week two, his playing time and stuff. How have you seen him grow throughout the season to where, again, he was on the field for every snap? Last well, the year? biggest thing is just getting comfortable in the defense. I think that's, you know, really, I mean, he, he's made, you know, splash plays early, you know, what we were all excited about. But, you know, it's just like anything for these young players, you know, they, it's the consistency, the connection, uh, the fits, uh, because, you know, we, have, we, we obviously need to be consistent in all three areas, offense, defense, and special teams. And obviously you look at, you know, a couple of games we had early in the season. You know, we, we, we were not as connected as as we as we could be. So, and I think that's just you know part of inexperienced players. And it's not just young players as far as rookies, but it's new players. You know, we, we have a lot of new players, a lot of young players, uh, and we just need to keep you know playing. You know, each and every day as far as the practicing and so forth. Uh, it's so it's so important. Um, you know, because. Like Tyler Guyton, you know, just talking with him, you know, the most important thing he needs to do is make sure he's there every single day. I mean, he, as a young player, the most important ability is always availability because you just can't afford to miss miss those reps. They're so valuable, you know, especially today's reps, you know, padded workouts. So, um, and that's a great example of it. 
Staying with the linebackers, Nick Vigil, obviously you guys have liked what, what he's brought. What what does he bring from his veteran leadership standpoint? Well, I mean, he's, he's the backup Mike, you know, the green dot, excellent communicator, not, you know, just like Eric knows the defense, it's bless you inside and out, and he's you know he's outstanding on special teams. Tommy, Tommy Yarsh, Dallas Cowboys. I'm like you mentioned yesterday that 10, 10 guys touching the ball in the receiving game was big for you offensively. When you're able to spread the ball out that much, what does it do for you as a play caller? To kind of open doors for the offense. Well, I just think the biggest thing is it keeps you in rhythm on your call sheet. You're able to exercise your plan. Uh, the adjustments I thought we made in the second half were, were really good, especially in the run game. So that, you know that's definitely helpful. Uh, just keeps you keeps you in, you know in favorable down and distances uh, because you know obviously you know the the third down was huge in that game for us. You know, so and and just being in, in you know being able to be productive on first and second down was I thought was a, was probably the best we had all year. Yeah. Mike Ed Warder, WFAA, you were talking about CD a minute ago. Why are his opportunities seemingly so different from one half to to the second half? Uh, it's football. I mean, that's you know that's the way games go. I mean, it's you know they were clouding to him you know, pretty much the the whole game. So um, you know as far as how much um, you know he had, how many opportunities you know that he had inside. You know that's those are the things you you have to look out look at. But you know. You don't just, it's not seven on seven. You know, there's there's protection and, and all those things that go with it. So I just think that's the way these games go sometimes. Yeah. Uh, Joe Hoyt, All City Dallas. Teams that have faced the Lions are winless the week after. Some have theorized about how tough it is to face these guys. I know you guys have a bye next week, and I know you guys every week in the NFL is a battle. But is there an extra toughness factor to playing Lions? Well, coming off a bye? Or just in, in general? Yeah, I mean they're playing well. I mean it's a good football team. I mean they've been they've been a really good team the last couple of years. So I mean that's, I mean that's really as far as it goes with me. I, yeah, they're they're going to be rested. Um, so that's 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 always a good thing in the bye week, you know. And I've always enjoyed bye week, um, the week after the bye week because of the preparation. You can go full throttle. Um, you know, it's a chance for your team to catch your breath, get healthy. So, and I, I just think like anything, with a really good week of preparation usually leads to a pretty good performance. Dave. How impressed have you been by Cooper BB, especially when you take into account that he, yeah. he was changing positions and while you projected him there, still actually doing it at, at the level he appears to be doing it this early? Uh, very impressed. Um, I, I think just clearly, you know, the position change, you know, just being a, a center, you know, for, you know primarily, because uh, you know we repped him at guard and center when he first got here, uh, his snapping um, from the spring to, crank, to training camp improved 272 um, percent. So uh, that was that was a big a big gain. Uh, we credit his mother for that. But uh, he's no he's done he's doing he's doing a heck of a job. Um, so I just I just think like anything you know we don't talk much about him and that's that's a huge compliment to him uh, because he he's he's gone in there and. You know, replaced a, a really good center. You know, a guy guy that played, you know, excellent football for us for a couple of years, and you know, and he's taking he, in this system's is is running full throttle. We we don't hold anything back. You know, our cadence, volume, and and variety, and all those things is is still there. So uh, he's he's an exceptional exceptional young player. And, and you seem to when you're looking at him, you seem to. Make the transition to a center for him immediately. Was it what is was it his build, his play style? What was it that? Well, all, all, all the above. I, I mean, I, I know when I first saw him, that's what I saw. I, I saw a center, um, and just you know his contact balance. Um, you know, I, I mean, no no one put more guys on the ground than he did. Whether he was playing tackle, guard, it didn't matter where he was playing at K State. You know, that's a, that's something that really jumped off the video. Uh, I know that in my time, you know, with the scouts when we were watching him. So. Uh, but yeah, I, I just you know his personality, his disposition, you know his all the things you heard about him, the way he's wired. Um, we just felt he was a perfect fit for center. Todd, Mike, you talked today about winning a home game uh, and yeah. getting that done. Is there anything about the process this week that you change up, or is it just about not falling, just having a slow start in these games? Yeah, I mean, we obviously we you know tomorrow we we dedicate you know almost the big part of our day on Fridays to starting and finishing. So, um, you know, the, our, our plan and process, uh, I, I believe in it. Um, but no, as far as schedules, like we yeah. practice, no, I mean, we'll, we'll, guys we'll been, you know, 
staying at home, coming to a hotel. And yeah, no, I, I think our process works very well. Um, I think, you know, the things that I look for, uh, I get there early, so I'm able to see everybody when they come in, they arrive, the interaction, and so forth. This this schedule that we switched on a year and a half ago is clearly the best option for us. Ed. Mike, you played a succession of elite pass rushers, and you have another one this week in Hutchison. What what do you see that most impresses you? Uh, I mean, his length, his tempo. You know, I mean, he he has a great motor. Uh, you know, he has a, he has a you know, a, you know, his spin moves a weapon. I mean, it's it's been very productive for him. So, uh, but I, I think just his relentless, you know, he's relentless, um, and I, I think that's what I admire the most about his game. All righty, thank you, Mike. Thank, thank you. you.